Hello friends, since past few days I am getting this message that because prelims has been postponed, how we should be strategizing our preparation. It is in this context I want to share my views with you all. I think that you have been in the preparation mode since November for prelims examination and now the examination is postponed till 4th October. Somehow you must have faced a sort of stagnation and monotony because there is a limit to which you can use your time for the prelims. Hence my suggestion is take this extension as a blessing in disguise. It's a very good opportunity for the students who were going to give exam for the first time. So they are getting ample time to consolidate their information. Right now you can keep prelims on the side track in your everyday routine, you can keep 3-4 hours aside for prelims preparation. Even till 15th of August, I don't think that you will require that much time. Even 2 or maximum 3 hours per day in the night, you can devote for your prelims. See, prelims is important, but even if we clear the prelims and we don't clear mains, we are back to zero. Hence, use this time to consolidate your preparation. To have your name in the final list, you need to maximize your marks. You cannot rely on interviews because that is very subjective. Now the maximization of marks require a very good score in your general studies, essay and optional paper. I will not suggest you do many things at a time. Since you have been engaged in general studies because of prelims for long, I will recommend that use this time to prepare your notes. At times, students keep certain sections of general studies to be done afterwards. For example, ethics, disaster management, internal security, post-independence, world history. So I will recommend for general studies, use this time to cover the portions which have remained uncovered or which have been compromised because of the urgency of the prelims. Now as far as the political science is concerned, I recommend that you should focus on consolidating your information and developing the answer writing skill. Normally I start crash course immediately after prelims examination but now I feel that I will start crash course from now onwards. From this Monday itself I will start the crash course. This crash course is very important for the students who have finished their classes with me in November batch. Now this these classes because of Corona there has been some sort of irregularity and we could not cover the international relations in the manner I intended to do so. So I want to compensate that gap through this crash course so that before exam you develop quite a good level of confidence. 
and you understand that the entire syllabus of UPSC as well as the word order is so dynamic. Lot of new things have emerged in international relations. The entire perspective is changing. You can call it a new normal in international relations. You may be suffering from the anxiety. How are we going to cover? So through this crash course program, I will be covering those topics one by one so that we can overcome the anxiety because of lot of new debates that have come up. I have experienced that most of the students somehow feel underconfident with respect to two papers. First is Indian government and politics and the second is comparative politics and India and the world. The main reason for anxiety is they are very open-ended and highly dynamic in nature. Hence, this crash course, it is not just a crash course, it is basically a test series come crash course program. This crash course is designed in a way that we will first take international relations test and then we will take Indian government and politics test and I feel that my students are quite comfortable in theory section. So immediately after prelims we will be focusing on theory section in our this test series. Now I will discuss some of the features of the test series. You can call it a test series, you can call it a crash course. The objective of the test series and crash course is first of all to cover the dynamic portions, second to develop the answer writing skill, third to develop the confidence in the student that the mains becomes a cakewalk and the past experience show that after doing the regular class, if any student do the test series judiciously, properly, they do not find any problem in scoring good marks. On the basis of the experience, I can assure that this test is going to prepare you quite well for the exam. This is the golden chance. The chances of success in this batch is very very high because we are getting ample time. So I would recommend we should use this time in a very proper sense and especially if a big chunk of your international relations is covered you will definitely feel confidence in dealing with mains. So the strategy should be cover the portions which you have left for uh, the mains or to be prepared later on as far as GS is concerned. Don't overtax yourself, don't overburden yourself and when you are doing prelims preparation you are anyway preparing yourself with the core areas of the mains general studies paper and give maximum of your time to your general studies and just prepare political science with me I will say walk with me the crash course where I will take previous year questions I will take the current issues will prepare you mentally very strongly to tackle any question that comes in the mains. Now I will discuss the detailed schedule of which we had been running one test series from the October. That test series was meant for the students who have covered the classes in the June batch and now this test series is primarily designed for the students who had 
enrolled themselves in the November batch and there are many students who had joined in October batch we also have a package for them if they want to enroll for the this test again because in the October batch the 17 tests are over so if they want to further sharpen their answer writing skill they can go for this answer writing program uh, for October batch is uh, test series students as well as for this June batch test series students the crash course course classes are going to be same and from this Monday onwards I will be starting my crash course October students they need not to pay for the crash course but if they want to write answers there is some additional amount they can pay and they can enroll themselves for other more tests if they don't want to do it it's up to them for November batch students I will recommend that you enroll for this test series come crash course program I hope I have made myself clear you will be getting the detailed information about the entire course in your mail as well as on my website let me explain the features of this particular course so this course will contain five sectional test for paper 2 before prelims because students do feel some sort of uh, there is some sort of nervousness with that paper because of the dynamism so I am focusing on second paper rather than first paper four sectional test for paper one here I will focus on Indian government and politics there also I feel students have a concern so that they develop a confidence then there are three sectional tests for paper one after prelims four full length sectional tests four full length comprehensive tests additionally it will be supplemented by the weekly classes which will cover the following components previous year question paper discussions current updates of paper 1 and paper 2 test discussions and value addition materials for updates here is a detailed schedule first test it will start from 28th june test funds one will cover these topics comparative politics state and comparative politics and politics of representation and participation test two will cover globalization approaches key concepts in international relations test three will cover the evolution the changing international order test four will cover foreign policy and its determinants test five will be covering India and the world section and in the August we will be covering Indian government and politics nationalism grassroots democracy party system now for the flexibility from test 6 to 9 that is Indian government and politics those students who feel overburdened they can write these tests even after prelims tests submitted before 18th October 2020 will be evaluated so immediately after prelims take time finish all these tests and then you will have the theory test which we will touch after prelims and then the as usual four sectional tests and then the comprehensive test now the fees for the new students means those who have not been the students of our institute for them the course fees is 23,000 those who have enrolled themselves in any of the program of the institute not just political science the course fee is 20,000 the students which have enrolled themselves in the October test series and want to give more tests the fees is 8,000 so in 8,000 you can write these number of tests in addition to your own fine so the detail 
these are the numbers you can have a look and very soon we will start the admission process and uh, I am planning to start my first class on this Sunday. I hope I have made it clear and in the mails you will get further clarity and you can have a look on the website also. Thank you. Mm -hmm.